Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is the mysterious, the mysterious decision made by the NBA against the Clippers. So that's the topic I want to get into today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell uh, to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, be on, also check out our Dreamers Pro Max online sports community. It's a, it's, a, it's a platform we created ourselves. It's a place where you can go and start uh, sports discussions, chat live during games, go live with us after games, uh, consume original content that you, you're not going to be able to get anywhere else, ask us, any, uh, ask us questions that you guys may be having, and do so many other cool things. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to check it out. We have it linked in the description below and get seven days of free access. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it. So let me get into this topic here. So all season long, I have been complaining about the lack of respect that the Clippers have been getting. I've spent the whole season griping about this. The whole season, right? It started off with the MVP voting, which is which is highly political. Highly, highly, highly political. I spoke about this all season long and I said, why was Kawhi not being mentioned at any single point in this season for MVP? I didn't say he should win the MVP. I said, why wasn't he being mentioned? I don't, and, I, and I don't think he should be mentioned now. But there were certain, there were different points in the season where Kawhi Leonard could have been mentioned. But I think, listen, people just had it made up in their minds that there were some people they were, that they were going to mention for MVP, and there are others that they weren't. There weren't, right? For reasons that are solely political, because it has nothing to do on performance. Because there are other team, there are teams out there that are performing at a high level, and their players get no consideration. That's why you saw the spat that uh, Shaq, Kenny Smith, and, and Charles Barkley had with these guys on TV talking about the MVP voting when he said, why isn't Chris Paul being mentioned? The Phoenix Suns had the number two seed in the, in the Western Conference the year prior. They didn't even make it into the playoffs. And now all of a sudden you add this guy, they go from not making it in, into the playoffs to the number two seed in the Western Conference and Chris Paul is not being mentioned. What's that about? And then Shaq and Kenny Smith wanted to, the, 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 oh, well, no, it's because you can't mention him. And Charles Barkley's like, why can't you? Why can't you? Right? So Charles Barkley has been calling out the media on it because the media is very incongruent. Um, they, they they pick and choose. They uh, they pick and choose what, what they want to, you know, the things that they want to do. And I've also been complaining about the fact that the Clippers get no respect from the referees whatsoever. I've said this all. This is not nothing new here. We're the only ones saying this out there, right? The other channels that create videos on Clippers and all of this, they just they're regurgitating other stuff. We're the only ones saying this stuff out here. Let's just be honest. There's no two ways about it. I've been saying this all season long. I've been saying this all season long, but finally, things came to a head where their key players now finally had to come out and complain. Their key players, their stars had to come out and complain. Kawhi Leonard, you know, made some comments about the referees and the lack of calls just two days ago. Paul George did the same thing. Haters will tell you, oh, but but wait a minute. What, why are they complaining? Why, why, why would you what, just stop complaining? This is usually Laker fans. Laker fans are usually the only ones... Uh, usually the only ones that do this is usually Lakers or or, or or LeBron fans. And now that I'm on the topic, let me just ask this question because usually we have some Laker fans watching this video. We have two crops of Laker fans. Okay, we have Laker fans that are mature and we have Laker fans that are extremely petty and immature. We have two crops of, uh, uh, of Laker fans out here. And what I'm trying to understand is, maybe you guys can help me understand this in the comment section because this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I was a Kobe Bryant fan. Kobe is my favorite player of all time, which means I did what? I supported the Lakers. Okay, when Kobe retired, I didn't start like, oh my God, I hate on the Lakers. I'm a Kobe guy, right? But I'm a, I'm a kind of a, 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 a fan that follows the stars, like, like, uh, like Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp follows um, LeBron wherever he goes. He followed, he liked him in Miami, Cleveland, and uh, and now in LA, right? I'm that type of fan, and we're, 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 we're like that. The only thing I, the only thing I don't understand is this. When I was when I was uh, when I was following Kobe and supporting Kobe as a Laker fan, I never once spent one second, not even one second of my time, focusing on other teams, even teams that were rivals. I never used to focus on the Boston Celtics. I didn't care. I was too busy supporting my team and the team that I liked and the best player that I liked. And my question is, why do some Laker fans go around following uh, Clipper fans and 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 like following them? Like walking behind them and 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 and, 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 and um antagonize. I don't get it. Why do y'all do that? You don't like the Clippers, but yet you watch videos on the Clippers. Why? Don't you have anything else better to do with your time? Like I don't get it. You spend your whole time complaining about something you don't like, but yet you keep watching the thing. I don't get it. 
If you don't like the late the, the Clippers, fine, no problem. We we get it. You don't like them, we get it. No problem. That's your prerogative. But then they be following the guys around, harassing them. I don't get it. Why would you give your attention to something you don't enjoy? That's the one thing I don't get. Like I don't get it. Like if you don't like the Clippers, why do you watch content on them? Why are you following them? Focus on your team. <laughs> like I don't get it. You have all of this energy. Put it towards your team. Like, but yet some guys go around. For, I don't. I, it's something I don't understand as a basketball. I don't get that. I don't get that. Like I just don't get. It's like okay, you're in business. We're doing our job, and you have this one dude every day coming and talking about what the other guy's doing. Do, do you know what they're doing at that company? It's like guy, focus on your own thing. Why are you worrying about what they're doing? It has no bearing on what you're doing. They say, oh, why Paul? George? What does it have to do with you? What does Paul George complaining about referees have anything like what bearing does that does, does that have on you and your team? It has no bearing. The guy is trying to do what's best for him, and you're there saying, no, 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 don't complain, don't complain. But yet, in the Orlando bubble last year, the Clippers were the, the Lakers were the same ones complaining about the lack of calls. They made it public, and they said they were going to complain to the league. Where were you guys? I don't understand. So there's a part, there's some group of Laker fans that I truly don't understand. Another thing, let me just end, let's say this quickly. Everything I say about Kawhi, whenever I say something about Kawhi or somebody else, I'm not talking about LeBron James. Stop making everything about LeBron and the Lakers. If I was going to talk about LeBron, I would talk about LeBron. If I was going to talk about the Lakers, I would talk about the Lakers. Stop making everything about the Lakers. I don't get it. If I wanted to talk about the Lakers, I would. Everything I'm I'm not a rapper. I'm not here throwing subliminal shots like, oh, he said this. He must be, well, ooh, he must, what he must mean is that must be an indirect diss. Come on. Like, we got to cut it out at some point. I don't get, I get it that you like the team, but stop with the pettiness. It's too petty. Like, oh my God, I don't understand this. So anyway, Paul George was fined 35000 by the league. He was fined 35000 by the league for his comments, right? And some people, oh, why is he complaining? Why is he complaining? So basically, somebody should be hacking the hell out of you. Somebody should be abusing you. You're not supposed to say anything. What world are we living on? Don't, no, just play through it, son. Play through it. Because, because referees have no bearing on NBA games, right? They have none. So it doesn't matter what the referees do. Just play through it. Is that not the most ludicrous thing? But anyway, so they criticized the, league, the, the refs. He was fined 35000 And then miraculously, last night during the Hawks, the, 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 the Hornets, the Clippers were sent to the line 23 times. And my question was, what happened? This team couldn't even buy a fight. They couldn't even buy they couldn't even buy a free throw. It was so bad that yesterday, when they finally got their first call, guess what the, the announcer said? Whoa, they finally got a call. That's when you know it's bad. When you have the, an, an announcer coming out and saying, they finally got a call, which means that the team was not getting calls. Let me give you guys a quick rundown of the number of free throws the Clippers have been attempting over the last 10 games. 11, 11, 19, 29, 27, 9, 7, 18, 16, and 16. Over the last 10 games, the Clippers have been, have been attempting 16.3 free throw attempts uh, uh, per game. Do you know what that ranks in the NBA? The 30 teams, they would rank like 35. That's dead last in the NBA. They're averaging about 22 attempts per game. So when they were complaining, this for bloody good reason. Stop being a hater and listen to what people are saying. Somebody's saying I'm being wronged and the hater comes out and says, close your mouth. Don't say anything. Just deal with it. You'll be fine. I don't get these people. You on when something when when somebody wrongs you in reality, some of y'all will be the first one to get up and complain. Oh, I'm being wrong. They're doing this to me. I'm being abused. So and so and thing is happening to me. But let it be to somebody else you don't like. All of a sudden, they gotta shut up. They gotta be quiet. Oh, but it's just sports. It's that that's their life. To you, it's sports. To them, that's their life. So they were complaining, and now finally, all of a sudden, they got some. They were attempting 16.3, uh, 16.3 free throws per game, and all of a sudden, last night they jumped to 23. What happened? What ha what, what what was the difference? This team was getting no benefit of the doubt from the referees at all. And my question is, what changed? 
And I think what changed was the NBA decided that they didn't want fans, not even for a second, to believe that games were being influenced when you and I both know that games that games get influenced. We know that we know that the NBA is very political. We all know this. Except the naive bunch out there. Those that close the just close their eyes and act like they don't know what's happening. Meanwhile, they know what's happening. The NBA is very political. Just like any other sport, wake up and smell a cocoa. People are talking about, oh, politics is dirty. Guys, everything out there, every industry out there is political. Whether it be corporate America, whether it be whether it be the NBA, whether it be any other, any whether it be in universities, everything is political. I'm watching, I'm watching, currently watching uh the what is it, the drive to survive on, on Netflix with Formula One. Maybe some of you guys watch that. Every single person on that show says F1 is extremely political. Everyone said that on that show. The stu- the, the 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 drivers, the mechanics, the engineers, the team principals, the ju- the journalists, all of them said Formula 1 is an extremely political sport. So Formula 1, I think the most the number one spectator sport in the world is political, but the NBA is not political. Because, oh, no, no, not the NBA, not us. Because, oh, no, no, not us. Not not the NBA. The NBA can't be political. It's just, it's, it's everybody else. It's politics, it's corporate America, it's schools, it's, it's the education system, it's other sports, but not us. You've got to be, you got to, you got to have just been born yesterday if you believe that the NBA is not political, that there aren't uh, agendas out there, and there are there aren't certain mechanisms in place to benefit some and others don't get that same benefit. If you believe that it's a meritocracy out there, then I got something else to tell you. If you believe that a lot of these guys on TV know what to say and what not to say, if you think that oh they're really telling you what they really believe, then I got a bridge I can I, then I got a bridge to sell to you somewhere. The NBA is very 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 political and my question is how long would this how long is this going to last yeah last night they did something not because they give a damn about the clippers they know this has been going on for the past 10 they know this the nba reviews these tapes they know these things (coughs) excuse me they know these things referees have to report to the league off they know this I'm sure they check to see what teams are being... Did they, why would Paul George say they know what's going on? Paul George is in the NBA. You and I are not. Uh, 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 contrary to what some people believe, y'all are not in the NBA, neither am I. None of y'all are reporters. Maybe, have maybe one or two of you guys who watch our videos are reporters, probably, I don't know, journalists, who knows? But I think it's safe to say that the players in the league know more than you and I know about the league. Unless you know more than players that are actually in the NBA. Because some people believe that. No, 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 it's nothing. It's nothing. What are you talking about? It's nothing. It's nothing. What are you what are you saying? Come on, where do you live? What world do you live in that you don't think politics plays a role in every single industry? What world do you live in? Of course, politics is in the NBA. And all of a sudden, now they're starting to get free throws. What happened? What changed? Paul George and these guys have been attacking. I, I watched the games. They've been attacking the basket all this time. Some people ask him, why are they shooting so many three? Why are they shooting? So-? Because they're not getting calls. What are you going to do? And and another reason they shoot from the outside is because you become more of a threat. Usually, you want to start off the game. Usually, you would start off the game. I would want to hit it. If I was a ball player, I would want to hit the jump shot first. Because if I'm hitting my jump shot, then you got to respect my drive. Because if I hit the jump shot, you think I'm going to, you, you think I'm going to make a jump shot, then I can blow by, blow past you so hitting jump shots is very important if you're going to be a score you're not about just about driving to the basket you come one dimensional and, and, and they can guard against that but once you, once they have to respect your jump shot then the drive beca- then the drive is there for you this is basketball one-on-one if you don't believe me go watch videos on kobe bryant he explained that perfectly so for me there's a lot of things going on and my question is how long will it last so what i want to know from you guys is let me know what your general thoughts are about this please no emotional responses we, it's sunday we don't have we don't have the energy for for the emotional uh, re- re- responders, please. So just let me know what you guys think uh, in the comment section below. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode.